sa amo de atu jose e basa die ye si tutu e nye me ye e wo gana si kase mua e nye nke mpipi fwo di fez e mpipi fwo ya diya bam e si ndi si fwo wa su u share e ye in fie pi e mpinu 2000 ya fini mua e satam kwa no ma gana ye nye a fango na o ye ma ye nye so wa su share se di e mpipi fwo e si tutu o ma gana ma yi anampo yo ma yi ye si kase me e fa ye nye no e no de atu jose e ndi si fwo ba ye no e no mbe se ni senti se ye ke kwe yo fosu tutu gana si kase me ye diya and the NDC for Komun Mabebiya. 3.7 to 9.2 without oil. GDP is nothing more than the total productivity of the whole economy, everybody's input included. That's the measurement of GDP. Without oil, then oil hitting, and it went up naturally to 14.1 thereabout. With the oil continuously flowing, the GDP is brought down to 3.4. There must be something wrong with the management of the economy. There must be something fundamentally wrong with the management of the economy. And if anybody who's brought down the growth from 14% there around to 3.4, and within two years is taken to 7.5, and now heading towards 8, wants to be given the chance to manage the economy again, We've got to be practical. Money in your pocket means the economy growing. When you grow, you create employment. That's the meaning of growth. So when somebody manages to bring it to that level, it was creating employment. Now, the way things are going, the IMF former managing director made a point. He said, inflation is the enemy of the poor. And that is what it is. When inflation goes up, Purchasing power and all this of everybody gets reduced because the rate of prices are going up higher than what is coming into your pocket. The rich can afford it, but the poor keeps on losing on it. So if you have a government that's bringing down inflation consistently, it is enriching the poor. And therefore, we should not make it look like these indicators mean nothing. They mean something. They mean something. And I would want all of us here to, and on behalf of my colleagues, say a very big thank you to the type of leadership the EMT has enjoyed from Dr. Baumia.